Hi, I'm Christine and I have the latest of what happened on the LA Film Critics Society. So what inspired you to be part of this film? This film? Um, it was uh, a meeting with Anish Chaganti, the director, who um, I, I'd said no at first and then um, because it was set on screens and I said I don't, I don't know whether I, I, I wanted, whether this is an acting experience that I can do or want to do and, and he came back at me and convinced me um, that it was going to make sense, that it was going to be compelling and emotional and that it wasn't going to be about the gimmick. This is a gift of a lifetime. Uh, I never set out to think that I, this was a role I, I wanted to, to go after. I didn't even know that it was uh, in the works, but uh, it was ended up being you know the, the greatest role I've ever had in my life. And I'm just so proud to be a small part of telling this man's story and sharing it with the world and the new generation. I mean, Queen's music has hit the top of the charts in so many countries now, and uh, I think they're, they're being listened to by people who have never heard them, which I find astonishing. Well, that was really an, a crazy moment for us. You know, I was, I was just sort of shell-shocked. We have been together for so long now, the cast and the crew, and um, we all just really love each other. And so just the experience alone was like enough. You know what I mean? Even if nobody even saw it. Like what we got to experience on set, like playing these characters and being a part of Queen's legacy was huge for us. So then to see how well the movie did was like wonderful and the people were responding to it. And then for to get nominated for a Globe and then to win, it's just like it blew my mind. You know what I mean? And, and we feel like we're sort of living a dream right now. And it's, it's sort of what you kind of really hope to experience as an actor. You know what? I'm really excited because it was just—it started off as a small novel that became a big novel, number one for 81 weeks, and then the movie got greenlit because of the popularity of the book. And then when we go to Toronto, the movie, everybody really embraced the film. And when we were making a movie, we just thought we were just a small little film. So I'm really excited that the movie touched a lot of people and also created a lot of awareness for a lot of people. Um, yeah, I mean, I was super excited to be in this movie. I uh, Ari Aster is a total genius. I feel like I just got a really good chance to like just slide in there. I feel like I just like whew, I I got in that movie, you know, because I I did a couple auditions and I just feel like I'm with like the top notch people. I think A24 is the best. They're the best around right now, and um, and Ari is the best around, and. Gabriel, everybody is just amazing in this movie, and I feel super lucky. It's funny, I just said to her, I feel like nervous that they're going to yank it away at the last minute. So I think I'm winning tonight, but I'm not 100% positive. They say it is, but you never know. Don't trust anyone. Oh, I mean, I think we were, we, you know, we were, we were looking at, you know, what we were adapting, which is a comic book, and then we were looking at the medium we were using, which is animation, and we were just trying to find a way to capture the feeling of a comic book um, with the with the sort of magic of animation, which is movement and performance and, and bringing something to life in a really graphic way. Um, and, and uh, you know, and so so that was really like the big initial goal with, with the choices we made with the style of animation. Um, and then the visuals, I think they just sort of, they started to snowball. They started, we found a few things that we really, really liked and we started to use them in different ways and that opened up doors to other things. And, yeah. um, and it really became, this giant, um, you know, art project that uh, that managed to, to to have some like thematic cohesion from the visuals to the narrative to, to 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 even just the way the characters interacted. All these things started to support each other, and, and um, really seemed like we were really great at planning it. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, we see animation as a as a you know, it's it's not a genre; it's a medium. You know, it's a medium for for visual storytelling. If people are going to come to the theater and they're going to spend money, you know, we, we consider it a responsibility to kind of blow their minds. And we think that every movie should, should go for that. You know what I mean? Whether, you know, any kind of movie. So that's, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what we were aiming to do. And the audience, you know, can tell us uh, whether we succeeded. Yeah. yeah. It's great. I mean, you know, all we wanted to do is make a movie that connected with people and meant something to people. So, you know, this is just an indication that it meant something to people and it's connecting with people. So. No, yeah, exactly that. And I mean, like, it was just such a fun project to make. I feel like we already won on that front and to have it, you know, still we get to, you know, champion this movie for like over a year now and it's getting all these awards and nominations. That's It's just like so special and such a wonderful experience. Thank you for watching Muse today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell.